All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is my first impressions for Spider-Man. Yes, I know. While everybody else has pretty much already beaten the game, and many people have even already gotten the platinum, I'm literally just pretty much just starting the game since I'm doing a first impressions. That's what life does to you. That's what responsibility does to you. It sucks. Okay, I remember back in, you know, like in my college days or just back a few years ago, I had enough free time where I could probably beat a game like this in two days flat. Now, takes a little bit longer. But anyway, let's get to the first impressions. So there's not much I can necessarily say on the story because I haven't gotten that far into the game to even, you know, judge anything um, really about the story, right? But we kind of get the general concept. We know, you know, the Sinister Six is going to be involved. This game is not going to be a, like, a direct, um, like, movie tie-in or direct uh, comic book tie-in. You know, they're not going to take, uh, you know, a, an exact story from, from those uh, inspirations. Uh, but I'm sure it's going to be a combination of, uh, of both with a, with a little bit of originality. So I don't have uh, really any doubts about the story, um, especially since, you know, I've seen some things here and there, some tidbits on Twitter, on YouTube. You know, I guess you can call them spoilers, but I anybody who knows me knows I'm not bothered by spoilers at all. Honestly, yeah, you could probably tell me exactly what happens at the end of this game. You could tell me every part. It wouldn't bother me at all. I know that's very that's a very unpopular opinion. I'm a I'm a rare species when it comes to that that. The fact is like if you actually spoil a game for me, it just makes me want to play it more, right? Because I don't really play games for surprises or, you know, suspense. You know, if if something cool happens and you tell me, I'm like, oh, really? That happens? Now I, now I just want to get to that part even more. I know. I'm a weirdo for that to most of you. But y'all are weirdos to me for even being bothered by spoilers. But, like I said, uh, I have complete faith in the story. I think it's, it's going to be uh, really good with the way it's headed. Um, I got to say, but the, the characters so far, you know, the only interaction... Um, I've had characters, obviously, Spider-Man, whoever, whoever, I'm not sure who's doing the voice acting for Spider-Man, but I think he's great. Definitely, you know, gives me that Peter Parker vibe, sounds like Peter Parker, the cadence and everything like that. And, uh, uh, you know, Captain Yuri, I like, I really like Spider-Man and, uh, her chemistry and, you know, so far I've only, uh, encountered Wilson Fisk. I think whoever did that did a great job. So it's just great character performances all around so, so far. Um, definitely got the personalities locked in. Okay, so I'm just going to move on to the, I guess, the combat and the gameplay. The most important thing, if you didn't master anything else in this, in a Spider-Man game, is the web swinging. And this game has great physics-based web swinging, right? They equip you with the move list and th the traversal techniques the you know the parkour the stunts all the things that you would do if you're spider-man and all the right moves that have flair to it they're, but they're not only just flair but they're actually useful and they have substance right whether you know it's the free fall whether it's um you know the l2 and r2 to grab a a, a surface and pull yourself towards it to gain momentum um, you know, the the web snap, I'm probably messing up a few of the names, um, just to gain momentum, to gain altitude, you know, jumping, um, you know, at the end of your swing. You know, all these things are that are physics-based, it just makes so much sense, and it's so satisfying. You can tell that they really put a lot of study and emphasis into getting the web swinging right, because I, I think the last Spider-Man that people really felt... Uh, did web swing the best might have been spider-man 2 um i might be uh you know confusing with another one but i, b I believe it it was it was spider-man 2 so it was very important that they get it right and they definitely got it right because even the past spider-mans the web swinging was kind of stiff in the way that uh it was good but only in one direction this spider-man you could like you know swing and turn on a dime and you know your web actually seems like it's pliable web you know you could swing circles around the building um so it's not something that's 
e it's it's something that you can use very easily. It's very accessible, but there is like a, I guess a uh, a skill ceiling where you can definitely uh, master, you know, your your movement and your, and your web swinging. You're not gonna be you know amazing at it at first, but you kind of just adjust and you learn and you figure things out and you just naturally uh, you know get better at it. So I think they definitely got the web swinging down down right. Um, like I said, the move list, whether the move list is, they have, a, you know, the move list is both for combat and traversal web swinging. So, you know, so far the combat, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it, but I, so far, you know, because a lot of people have been compa comparing the Spider-Man combat to the Batman combat because, you know, we don't really have that many games to compare it to. And Batman kind of had set the bar for how com combat should go in these type of games. So far... But it's still early on. I gotta say, I still enjoy the, the Batman combat way more. But I think that may change the more I actually unlock moves uh, in Spider-Man's skill tree. Because it's an, a, it's an expansive skill tree, which in, obviously improves the combat, gives you more abilities. And I think the main thing that kind of, like, bothers me is... I'm, I'm still spoiled by Spider-Man, like, you know, with Spider-Man's finishers. What is it? triangle and circle i think it is and with batman um i think in ba in the batman games i think it was square and x if i'm not mistaken that might be wrong i don't know i don't know why in my mind i feel like it was square and x in batman but i keep like you know having crossing my wires and pressing the wrong buttons sometimes and the other problem i have is um spider-man doesn't necessarily have a a counter move unless you know that's something you have to unlock uh pretty much his counter uh, his his equivalent to countering is dodging, which he uses to dodge gunfire and also uh, dodge enemy attacks, whether he slides under them or just moves out the way. Um, I don't know. I just I just really like a counter move better, which but you know triangle and Batman is is the counter um, in this game. Uh, triangle is is really for like you know the the web yank and the air throw uh and um the the uh, the web strike so it's kind of just like reprogramming my mind that this is not batman this is not batman you got to readjust right because i'm still uh you know especially early on i was playing it and pressing buttons like i was playing batman but uh so i still have to see you know if i get further in the game and has, as i unlock more moves and abilities if i prefer batman over this but so far it's still fine I'm, I'm adjusting i'm still enjoying uh the combat and all the combos i think this is a little bit more casual because like in batman and most other games if you miss an attack your combo meter resets in this game i think it only resets if you get hit or if you take too long which is i don't know a little bit casual but i can i can see based on how the combat is why they made it that way and i am playing on uh the hardest difficulty what is that spectacular um so it's definitely you know been a little bit of a challenge especially uh early on uh but i'm definitely you know definitely enjoying the game um i'm at the point now where the game allows you to pretty much you know free roam and you know saw and you know fight crime in the streets and do the all the collect collectathon things and y'all know i'm a farmer so what I'm going to do, you know, pretty much doing right now is going around the city, uh, collecting all these items, fighting crime so that I can gain XP so that I, so that I can unlock things early. Because that's how I like to play games that allow me to. I like to get as much XP as possible, unlock as many abilities as possible, get ahead so that, you know, when I encounter enemies... I actually have the ability to, you know, use all the things I unlock earlier in the game, you know, for an advantage. I like that the game sets you up uh, early for everything you'll encounter going forward in the game. They give you the tutorial without making it feel like a tutorial, you know. Uh, they really just made it, made it feel like a mission and you're just playing through it. They hold your hand a little bit, teaching you the mechanics. And I think that's very important because too many games, you know, in the beginning... Uh, start off slow because they they feel they actually put you through the grinder and the meticulousness of uh, of an actual tutorial and they don't even try to hide that it's, that it's a tutorial so I think that this game handled it uh very well uh, even with the puzzles if you want to call them quote unquote puzzles um, I can see why I heard some people say they were unnecessary and a little bit 
of an annoyance. I guess that part of the game is to show uh, how Peter Parker, as, as we know, as we know uh, is a genius, one of the most you know smartest uh, individuals in the Marvel universe. And I guess they wanted to just explore that aspect of him and didn't didn't want to just make it a a purely a pure action game. So I can understand that, but I can understand how people felt like it was a little bit annoying. It reminded me of a lot of the puzzles, quote unquote, that like Deus Ex had. And I didn't mind those, so I didn't mind these as much either. And the visuals are absolutely beautiful. You know, the character models, uh, the world generally. Of course, there are going to be some spots that don't look as good as others. Um, you know, the, the, the generic uh, crowd character models aren't going to be, you know, that detailed. But, you know, just the world, the, the depth uh, of field, you know. the uh, I ter One thing that did annoy me is... Spider-Man by default has the three worst graphical options on by default, which is chromatic aberration, terrible, film grain, terrible, and motion blur, terrible. For some reason, game developers just swear by these things and think it gives the game uh, a better uh, presentation in some way, specific games better presentation, but to me, it just makes the game look way worse so i turned all that off and i'm enjoying you know how the game looks without all of that stuff so thank you all for listening to my first impressions yes i will be doing a review on this game when i finally beat it and i said you know i ain't gonna be getting the platinum in this game ain't no way it's gonna happen but i don't know i'm i'm getting like you know when you get that feeling where you go you gonna put in mad time in the game early on so i, I might get the platinum i can't guarantee it because you know I don't really care about Platinums like God of War. I'm sitting at a 92% and I could easily get the Platinum, but there's just, you know, this one thing that I just don't feel like doing. So that may happen with Spider-Man. I may get to like 95%, you know, with Spider-Man. And you know what? I don't feel like doing this and I'm just going to leave it right there. So people like Jack Mujani with OCD could like, you know, it can make their skin crawl and shit. But um, yeah, and I want to give a shout out to everybody who watched my Tomb Raider review because, you know, I just started getting back into doing reviews and, you know, some of my, you know, all of my reviews are going to come out late and I didn't think anybody would, would watch them. But, uh, you know, people s still seem to be very interested in watching reviews regardless of how late they are. So that's it, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace. Hit the like button.